This morning, we're going to deal with this. The text to talk for takeaway made from scratch. Made from scratch. Here is the text. Psalms 139, 14. You already know it. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You know what God did? God took us, scraped us up by the soil, by the dirt and the dust of the earth and made all of us originals. All of us are originals. We are not Xerox. He made us from scratch. And there are three things I want you to get as a result of you knowing that he made you from scratch. The first thing is you are a specialist. You are a specialist. Now, Ephesians 2, uh, 10 says this. Ephesians 2, 10 says this. It says that, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. We are specialists. There are things in the earth that only you can do. There are some things in the earth that only you can do. And if you don't do it, it won't get done. So you have to understand that you are a specialist. Now, there are people on your job that can do the things that you do when you're absent, when you're on vacation, somebody can step in. But there are other things that God created in you that makes you a specialist. And if you don't do it, if you don't come to your purpose, if you don't grab a hold of the fact that God has created you to do that specific thing, that thing in the earth won't get done. So we are made from scratch. He scooped you up and to make you a specialist to carry out the purpose that he has on your life. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. I know what I'm doing when I made you. This is what God is saying when he made you. You are a specialist. The second thing is, is that you are salt. You are the salt of the earth. In Matthew 5.13, it says, you are the salt of the earth. Now, if a salt loses its savor, for what is it good for but to be thrown out and be trodden unto men's feet? Now, what is that saying? Because you are salt, because you are salt, there's some things that you need to know that you uh, can do and that you're supposed to do. Salt preserves. Salt preserves. You can put salt on something and it will keep it. You need to know that you are a preservative. The second thing you need to know is that you are seasoning. There are some things that will not have the taste that it's supposed to have because it doesn't have enough what? Salt on it. It doesn't have enough salt on it. And that's what he created you to be, to bring out the taste in life, your life and the life of others. Not only that, have you ever realized that you are supposed to bring out the sweetness in people as well? I learned this uh, with First Lady Cooking. She's an outstanding cook. I mean, she can bring it. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be soul food. It can be stuff right off of Food Network, uh, gourmet. She can bring it, I'm telling you. And uh, I, I just learned. I don't get in there. I just eat it up. But I found out that when she's dealing with chocolate and doing that kind of thing, chocolate needs a little salt. If chocolate doesn't get enough salt, it won't bring out the sweetness. You are not only a specialist, you're the salt because you're supposed to bring out the sweetness. You're supposed to bring out the taste. You're supposed to preserve things and people around you. You're made from scratch. He created you because the third thing, you're sensational. <laughs> Go ahead on and admit it. Go ahead. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to take a minute. Go ahead and put it in there. Put it in the chat. If you agree that you are sensational, go ahead and put it in there. We'll wait. We'll wait because sometimes we don't realize just how sensational we are. Romans 8, 37 says this, you are more than a conqueror. <laughs> Come on now. Go ahead and put it in. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm going to sit here and look. I'm going to sit here and look. Who, who believes that they are sensational? Go ahead and put it in there. It says, I'm sensational. Ramona, you say, yeah, I'm sensational. Valerie said, yeah, I, I'm definitely sensational. Alice said, yes, I'm sensational. Baby, you may not like me. <laughs> I might have lost a curve or two. 
Uh, I might not be what I used to be, but guess what? I'm still, come on, come on church. I'm still sensational. I'm sensational. I'm sensational. I bring taste to the party and I'm a specialist in what I do. Because what? God made me from scratch. There ain't another one on the earth like me. You better believe that because that's what he did. He fearfully and wonderfully made me. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this, be you because you weren't made to be somebody else. Be you. You were not made to be somebody else. You're made from scratch by the hands of God. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning for more morning manner. Don't forget, share the manner with one other person.